Hello everyone, this is Christian Modix Done Interactive, and in this video we are going to build on what we did in the previous one, which was dealing with how to make our images responsive. We're going to take those same examples and then we're going to make them lazy load as well. So for example, what I have here is the picture tag. Of course, if you, like I said, if you don't know what the picture tag is or how to use it, please see the, the previous video. But what I have on the page is actually code that loads in 10 images. As it starts right now, we've only loaded in five of them based on where we are in the, the, the page. As the user scrolls down, we'll load in those images. And like I said, this uh, picture tag is going to deal with uh, being responsive. So if there's a large enough display, it'll show a different pic picture. In that previous case, it was like a 320 width image, I think. In this one, we have now the size for an 800 width image. So we have seven of them loaded. The other ones will pop in later on. And we're going to see how to take care of that and how to do that and much more in this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, as I mentioned, we're going to do uh, lazy loading in this uh, video. And uh, the way that we're going to accomplish that is by using an NPM package, in this case called Lazy Sizes. The time that we're doing this video, the package is at uh, version 4.1.4. So you just need to install this in the project, which I've already done here. Close that. And we don't need that. Once it's installed in our package, whoops supposed to be back in the beginning. So once it's installed within the package, we need to load it into whichever pages that we need. In this case, I think it's a, it's a fairly small package and, you know, video or video images are pretty common on all of our pages. So it's probably good just to have it. Uh, we'll just load it in this main.page.ts file. So all we need to do really is to import this thing. And the way that we're going to, or at least the way that I'm going to do it, is just using a require statement. I'm going to get complained at by TSLint, but I'm going to ignore it. So now we should have that loaded in our page. Let me get rid of this. We can check if we go to the console here. Ignore that. Interesting. Let's see if that causes any problems. But we can see that uh, lazy sizes is now in our. Uh, global namespace, so it's been loaded. Let's come back to the network tab and close my eyes and forget that I saw that error over there. So let's make it a little bit bigger here. Alright, so the first thing off, uh, what we're going to do is to um, load some images into our page and by load some I mean basically the same image. All I've done is copied it and added a uh, you know, an index so that the page doesn't cache it. We'll save it, we'll refresh, and we'll see over here that we have one through 10 images have been downloaded uh, in our page, regardless of obviously where we are or whether we'll ever get anywhere close to it. Right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this code, so let's just copy and paste it down here. And we want to modify it in such a way as to just have an image tag, nothing fancy, there's no response to this, it's not being served differently based on different uh, pixel densities or different size viewports. We just want to lazy load this same image. So we just need to change a couple of things here. And first off is on our image tag, we'll just add a class. And I think lazy load is the class. And then the other thing that we need to do is change our source attributes from source to data dash. Save that. Now if we refresh our page, we should see, oops, helps if I go to the page where we've done it. So what we see here in the pane is that images one through six have been loaded, but not the others. So if we scroll down here, there's image seven, eight, nine and 10. So we have loaded all of our images now. Oh, let's save anything. 
and again nothing you know no responsiveness going on or anything like that so the next thing that we're going to do is move on to dealing with different sizes so this is what the code looks like to deal with those again this is a case in which we're sending down the same image so it's the exact same image just at a different resolution based on the uh, display size uh, the device size resolution of the of the user and of course We've done all this in a, in a previous video, so if you haven't seen uh, just the, you know, adding this to the page to begin with, explanations, you can, you can see it there. But what we're doing is basically modifying this code so that uh, we can do some lazy loading. So let's go down. So no need to type all of it out. It's basically the same code, except that uh, which picture is getting shown is modified by this, you know, adding the copy number to it, right? So now if we save this, we should, and we're dealing with the different sizes. So if we click over here, so again, different sizes. Right now we're serving up the 800, which seems a little bit off. Ah, it's because I have a device pixel ratio. I'm using the you don't have a small enough viewport it just downloads all the pages anyway and I forget what I'm doing there so what we'll do is change out of this as soon as I remember how oh just drag because what I needed when I switched to the using the iPad or the iPhone it changed the pixel density to three which modified which pay or which uh, images are being loaded so what we're saying here is if it's above 320 but below 480 we should show the uh, 480 width which is what we're getting here we scroll down same deal we'll see that the other images start popping in as we go and it works for different resolutions so for under 320 we're using the 320 width image same deal loads in for us and of course the 800 will work as well um, harder to get more space I guess because we have a little bit of room what we need to do is be above what are we looking for 480 so close there we go so now we're above 480 so we're serving the 800 width pixel images and they come in as we scroll down. So that's the uh, dealing with the uh, um, same image but different resolutions, different sizes. Next up, we're basically going to take the code, which is same size. So this is the one dealing with the pixel density. So if it's a pixel density of one, we'll show a 320 width image. If it's a pixel density of two times, we'll show the 640. Uh, by default, I guess we're showing the 640. Um, what is happening is in the CSS, because they have the same size as attribute or the uh, class on here, it's fixing the width of the image to be 320 regardless of which one. So it increases obviously the density of it. So all we need to do in this case, let's grab this. So again, all we've done is added the class to our image tag of lazy load. In this case, we've taken the source set. I don't think I mentioned it up here. Source set. So we take source set and sources and add data dash to them anywhere we see them. So on the same sizes, again, just showing the different copies. We'll save that. Go to the same size. And you see that we're getting the 320s. We scroll down. They pop in as we go. Perfect. If we change the density to two times, we'll get the 640. Same deal. They scroll in as expected. Perfect. Let's change it back to one. And last but not least is the pictures. So again, this one is to deal with. We have different images based on the different resolutions of the device. So we have basically two different images. I'll have to scroll out some to get this to work. Uh, so what we want to do is copy in. 
Again, same pattern. Image tag is the class. Anytime we see the what was a data source set or source, it becomes data dash, data dash, data dash. Save that. Go to our picture. So the break point is between 800 pixels. So I'm at 485 in width. So we're getting, what am I showing here? Oh yeah, I chose different sizes to make this easier. So we have 320 and 800. Uh, so we're showing the 320 image. Again, scroll down. They start popping up as they're supposed to. So now we need to give us enough room to get above 800. Refresh just to make it easier to see everything. So now we're serving the 800 uh, with images. We scroll down, same deal. They start popping in as well. So it's a very simple process to add the ability to lazy load images, at least using the lazy sizes package. So just install the, the package, make sure that it's loaded into each of our pages through adding the uh, require statement to our main.page.ts file, and then updating the images and picture tags such that for each image, we add the cl uh, CSS class lazy load, and any time that we have a source set or source attribute, we simply make that data dash instead. Right. So that takes care of a uh, lazy loading. I think in the next video, we'll talk a little bit of optimizing our images to make them as small as possible. Um, as usual, I want to mention, you know, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you want to see something in particular, please leave it in the comments section below. Should have said at the beginning, but of course the code that you can see use. What I was basically copying and pasting from is in the article for this video, which you can find a link to in the description. And other than that, I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. I know that your time is valuable. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the thumbs up button as well as share the video with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And once again, thank you, and I will talk to you in the next video.